Howdy people and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be getting three Gunrock Rhinos on the SU-12244, the Tier 7 Soviet uh, Tank Destroyer. It's a premium tank destroyer with no preference for matchmaking. It's uh, got that uh, beastly 122, well it's not really beastly, but on this tank it kind of is that 122mm gun with a super good rate of fire. This tank has a uh, really, really good DPM, I think. The DPM is comparable to the tier 10 STP, if I'm not mistaken. They kind of have the same rate of fire and the same alpha, so... Uh. Of course, it's not going to be the same, because this one has uh, 175 pen with AP and... Uh, 219 APCR, if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably mistaken. Yeah. So, when this thing is top tier, it's a DPM beast. When it's in tier... 8 and 9 games, it's not so much of a beast, you know? And of course it depends on the maps. I have, I had quite a lot of troubles grinding this tank because of the terrible maps I've been getting. Mostly city maps, brawling maps, can't really do much sniping, but... I guess we're gonna make it. So, uh, we're on Swamp. I wanted to go that position there. I thought some tanks are gonna climb on the 1-2 line so I can uh, snipe on them, but nothing climbed. I noticed the ZK here, so I'm gonna try to smack him down if I can. There you go, got a shot into him. I think he panicked and just drove down though. Yeah. Most of the enemy tanks are YOLOing the 9 0 line. I saw they had a lot of tanks there. I tried to shot for the SU. I actually had the outline I was playing. I don't know why it's not showing here. I bounced the Jackson. That bug again now apparently you don't see the outline if you're behind vegetation, I think. Used to be you don't see the outline when you're behind an obstacle or something now. Yeah. I don't know. I got a kill on the Nassar and there's the VK in front here. It didn't saw me when I shot. There you go, I popped a shot. I got spotted but I'm gonna go for the greed mode. And just uh, go kill him and run back. You can notice how good the, you can notice how good the DPM is. This way, I think it's, it shoots once every 6.4 seconds or so, if I'm not mistaken. For some reason, the reload timer is not showing here, so... In any case, I gotta run away from this position, because they're coming in strong with the YOLO, and it's pretty much the whole enemy team, so I gotta run back to the that little castle up there and try to snipe them down as they... Uh, as they push in our base. I'm already spotted, so there's really no time to lose. The good thing about YOLOing CDCs is you can pen them with high explosive quite easily and you can do a shitload of damage to them with high explosive. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to, to smack some high explosive into the CDCs. I only got two pieces, but that should be okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn around here and uh, I switch to high explosive. Let's see what we can shoot right now. There we go, I got shots on the CDC. Oh, I'm 544. <laughs> CDCs don't have any armor, friends. <laughs> that was a good rule. He's r running away now. And I also got the kill, so... Yeah, that was good high explosive. All I gotta do now is wait and let the other other ones come in. I guess we would be lucky if they don't cap, that is. Because if they would just go on the cap straight away, I mean, look at this, it's 410 already. You wouldn't think we can win this game, right? Me neither. So if they would go on the cap. But then again, considering giving me this score, I wouldn't go on the cap either. No, I'll just, I would just go and collect the kills. It's 4 10. There's no way we're, they're gonna lose now, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me peek a little bit more. We're really not spotting anything. Maybe when the binos activate. There we go. There's something there. The SU. But I don't see it. It's behind the rock, so. I gotta climb all the way up. There's another CDC there. I shot him, but I only detracted him, unfortunately. There's a VK behind the house. The SU moving in. Let me see if I can shoot him. Didn't really have time to aim there, so. Yeah. And the VK is behind the house. I think I got shots at him. If I'm not mistaken. No. Yeah, in any case, I gotta turn around for these boys here because they're coming in to, to flank us. So, can't shoot the other ones later. Let's just focus on these guys here for now. As a type, I popped the snapshot onto him. 
And yeah, we gotta kill the AMX too. I'm gonna fall back a little bit though, because they got the other tanks coming in, like this VK. And I gotta go behind the rock, so that the AMX doesn't shoot me. Come on, AMX. He's actually gonna push it, nice. Thank you, man. There you go, free damage, boys. And he shot, but he bounced. Okay, the type is dead. Now I gotta turn around and uh, go back. But there's another Jackson here. There we go. I really can't miss the opportunity to kill a tier 6 tech. You know, it would be no problem for me. Two shots, I guess. Come here, Jackson. But, yeah, I rush it and I shoot like an idiot and I actually missed the shot. And at this point, the Yak Tiger behind was uh, shooting me, so I gotta get away. I gotta ditch the, the Jackson for now because I took one shot from the Jackson, one from the Yak Tiger, so I'm kind of running low on health at this point. But the good thing is the game is pretty much uh, turning back. They were kind of turning back the game. 12.30 now from 4.10, so if I can kill this IS now. There we go. All I gotta do now is go back and shoot the Jackson. I'm already spotted, so he's there. Uh, unlucky D track, but I think I can reload fast on him, anyways. Like I said, man, this thing is a DPS monster. No. Oh, all I gotta do now is go search for the Yak Tiger, but I don't think you guys wanna see five minutes of just moving across the map, right? So let me just try to speed it up for you boys till I actually find the Yak Tiger. Yeah, I kind of went in and searched the entire map. I stopped a little bit there to, to see if I can spot him. You know, I'm just trying to use the Binox. Again, I went here. I tried to stop in the bush to, to see if he's moving around here. Went through his base. And I'm just trying to make it like less boring for you guys. And in the end, apparently he was just capping my base. So I just paired you guys a good couple of minutes of just moving and doing nothing. There we go. Okay, let's load it down now. Okay, so he's capping, I know that. All I gotta do is go here and use the, the bushes. I went wide so he doesn't see me. I'm gonna go in the bushes, wait for the binos to activate. He has pretty good camouflage though. Surprisingly, for that big ass box, I didn't spot him. There we go. I spot him now. I gotta go back behind the bushes and. Double bush. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really pen him from that angle. Yeah, I can't pen him from that angle, so. I gotta let him come to me, I think, or if he keeps staying on the cap, I'm just gonna keep shooting him. I don't know. He is a full HP Yak Tiger after all, right? Yeah. Let's see. Take a peek again, but there's this big tree here, so I can't really spot him. Nice nah, coming in. I gotta get away. Can I get a shot onto him? I want to detract. I want for the detract. I wanted to detract him and just, uh, you know, somehow go to his side, but there's no time for that, unfortunately. No. He's coming in, so I really gotta get lost. Because one on one is gonna win the battle. My only chance to win it is if I manage to detrack him and go to his side. I have really good rate of fire, so unless he has he has repair kit, he's got no chance of repairing his tracks. Uh, by the time I fire again, so that's what I'm kind of counting on right now. I'm gonna go here at the corner, and I'm just gonna let him come in. Yeah, I wanted to come in, uh, and I'll I switch to APCR. Do wanna uh, like? Have any RNG shit now? I want. I'm gonna go for the tracks. He went up here, so I got the tracks. I'm gonna go back first. That was a good move because they actually still had repair kit. So there you go. I detracted him, but I immediately go around to his side. I think I just he. I, I just got away by milliseconds there because he would have been reloaded again. I made sure to detract him, and again, and I'll, all I gotta do is uh, do damage. Yep. One more shot and he's dead it. I was really, really close. I was really close because the Yak Tiger has really good rate of fire, so I'm pretty sure I, I missed that just by, by milliseconds. 
In any case, that was one heck of a finish, I guess. Uh, yeah, we ended up with an ace tanker, three gun Macarinos, Radley Walters, Defender, high caliber and top gun. 130k, almost 131k credits and 3,496 XP. That's almost 3.5k XP, boys. We ended up with 5,194 damage, 8 kills, 1,942 base XP. We got a little bit of assist damage, 153, we got 85 uh, defense points. And we made 44k profit, I kinda uh, fired a couple of APCR, APCR shells in the end. Because the Yak Tiger has pretty good armor, so I didn't really want to leave anything to chance. And I also had rations, so the, the profit kinda decreased but still who cares about credits when you get games like these right that was it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the su12244 in the comments below do you agree that it's a beast when it's stopped here i would also like to add that tds nowadays are very very map dependent can't really, even with this DPM, you can't really do so much on a city map, honestly. Um, well, let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.